how to find the measure of complementary angles when we have algebraic expressions involved. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is actually find out if the angles are complementary angles. Okay, in this example we're told that they're complementary angles, that one and two are complementary angles. So we know that these two angles should add up to 90 degrees because that is the definition of complementary angles. Sometimes you're not explicitly told with a nice sentence like this. Sometimes you will get the right angle symbol like this right here. So you really have to watch out for that. Alrighty. Now that we know they're complementary, we have to set up an equation so we can solve. Okay, recall that if angles are complementary, they have to add up to 90 degrees. So I simply add the two angles up. I have 19x plus 3 here plus 8x plus 6. So angle 1 plus angle 2 should equal 90 degrees. Once I have the equation, now we just have to solve using basic algebra. All right, so the first thing you do is combine like terms. So 19x plus 8x gives me 27x. And 3 plus 6 gives me 9. Then we subtract 9 from both sides. That gives me 27x equals 81. And then divide both sides by 27, and I get 3. So now that I know x is 3, you can take it further. Um, if you want to find the measure of angle 1, we then have to substitute this 3 back into this original expression. So I do 8 times 3 here. That gives me 24. Then 24 plus 6, that's 30. So that means angle 1 is 30 degrees. Okay, and then angle 2 would then be what? It would have to be 60 degrees because, remember, these two add up to 90. And if I know this is 30, I can do 90 minus 30, and that would give me 60. So angle 2 would then be equal to 60 degrees. And that completes our problem.